It is about an individual who just got into chess two months ago and in that time has done nearly 2,000 puzzles and has played 2,000 rapid games. Because I'm fucking about it, baby. Period. I'm about that action. I am about it. Bro, people said it in League. Oh my god, you played it. Because, yes, because I have the willpower to play that much. You guys understand that? It's like when people say, well, you play 5,000 games. Yes, the ability, my ability to grind and not quit is legitimately my strongest feature. People can't play more than th two league games a day. Bro, I'm, in my prime, I played 50. Recently crossing 1,000 ELO. I have never seen something like this in my life before. And in this video, our protagonist is Tyler One. Some of you may know who Tyler One is. What can I say? You may not know who Tyler One is. Let me introduce you to Tyler One. Six foot five this powerhouse. Tyler One. Yes. Not to be confused with Tyler Zero or Two or whatever. This is Tyler One. He is a streamer who primarily plays League of Legends, which is why his physique is so built. Damning all those mouse clicks. Uh, Tyler One is an extremely charismatic and slightly <laughs> terrifying individual. And a, a, as a dedication to him, I am actually wearing a tank top myself in this video. My muscles are not that big. Tyler, dedication to him, I am actually wearing. See, look, hey, brother, it might just be time for a t-shirt. Hey, it's t-shirt time. Got him? Hey, put on that shirt, man. A tank top myself in this video. My muscles are not that big. Tyler One recently competed in the Chess.com Pog Champs tournament, and he wasn't that good when he started, but that Fuck did you, not stop his confidence, from, as I'm going to show you in this clip, where he called me out and Kikaru Nakamura and Magnus Carlsen. Uh, adults, there's going to be a bad word or two. You might want to, you know, put your hands over your kids' ears. What kids, if your parents are watching, just tell them to leave the room for a second. Tyler might say a bad word or two. Hey, he follows me. Also, volume warning. And, uh, yeah. Hey, he follows me. I'll follow him back. Got him. I mean, if he just fine tunes a couple things, plays the openings, just a, a tiny Shut the fuck up with your backseat game. <laughs> I'm self-taught. Who are you, bro? Put me one. Put give me one v one against this guy. I'll put ten grand. I beat. I'll beat this guy first try. Who's this guy to say that he could beat me in chess? True. You haven't played me, bro. I level up to my opponent. By the way, Ash. I level up. I like match the competition. You can put me against that Hikiro guy or the Magnus Carlsen guy. I will body them, bro. True. Taka? True. Hikiro or Magnus Carlsen or... He needs to fix his mic, though, because that was a little gain. But I'll body them. For me playing Tyler 1 for a $10,000 match. Now, set it up! Challenge. Set it up, bro! Set it up! Set it up! Set it up! Andrea and actually succeeded, uh, but that's besides the point. In any case, at that time, Tyler was rated around 200. No, I wasn't. Like, yes, the number said 200. Like, it said 200, but I wasn't 200 rated player. I left on stream. No, I wasn't. You make me say, when people say, well, because you, you were 200. I'm sorry. I come as, like as, come across as like challenged. Like, oh my god, how 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 could a player literally get 200? Are they playing with their monitor off? Like, you make me seem challenged. No offense when you say that. No, I was okay. I was, but I wasn't. <laughs> Look at it, and he like chuckles. Like, what a dipshit. <laughs> that guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> You know what I mean? But no, I wasn't. Well, now, two months later, he is nearly 1,100. True. It is absolutely I hit 1, ridiculous. His growth has been nothing like I've ever seen. True. In the last 30 days, he has played 1,200 games of chess. That is 40 rapid games a day. About it. About that it. Is, and that's not even human. This man has done... Oh, my God, I lied to you. He's done 3,500 puzzles. His puzzle rating is 2300. This is completely insane. I'm really, I'm not exaggerating. This is, this is insanity. And he has gotten all the way up to 1056 rapid. Yep. In this and, video, I'm going to take you. And last night, before the rage queue, I hit 11. What did I hit? 
Last night before I rage queued, I hit um. Eleven forty six. By the way, eleven forty six. Eleven forty six. That fast. I was doing great, bro. I could see it. I swear. After I take blood rush for the for the next like hour or two, I'm like seeing. I'm I'm seeing sounds, bro. You feel me? After that, though, uh, after that wears off, and I'm like, uh, rage queue up charge. Yeah, I'm smurfing. Through this journey, I'm going to show you his early chess career, and I'm going to show you his recent chess career because this is otherworldly stuff. I mean, truly, this is absolutely nuts. Uh, wow, my goodness. Uh, what, what can I say? Um, and uh, speechless when it comes to me. Oh, and just, by the way, a little offhand remark. Uh, today we announced uh, the Chess Kid National Festival. Chess Kid is like chess.com, but for children, uh, it's uh, very kid-friendly, kid-safe. Fine, plug. 2024, February. Um, I'm going to be a big part of it, so there's a link in the description. I'll put it in. I'll talk about it a little bit more. It's in February. It feels like 10 years away. Whatever. Anyway, this is the first ever game that uh, Tyler1 played on chess.com. Okay, this, <laughs> I, I don't remember this. Is there a history that you can go back? Bro, okay, I don't, I, I don't remember this. This might be bad. I don't know. Um, why are you watching this? The first game ever? And like most games on chess.com, in your first game, um, this is how it went. This is July 2023. This is about 60 days ago. I don't remember. Okay. Tyler one plays against no idea what I was doing. five, and then he takes a pawn, and you know for some reason here he plays pawn to f six, because you know I, first first chess I game you you ever play, it happens. Uh, his opponent takes back on in the center, and then goes here, and and the knight actually gets trapped. Uh, that's you know that's not a great move. Um, of course, White's queen should come down here with queen to d five check, but that is I don't it's, it's, we're a little bit you know above the pay grade here. And Tyler's actually winning. Tyler's actually his very I first game on chess.com. That's how you know he's a god gamer. He's never played chess before, and he's beating an eight hundred level player. I Unfortunately, it is short lived. Here, the queen is targeting the f seven square and c five, uh, and uh, Black has to defend both of those things by playing queen e seven or queen f eight. Tyler gives the check, and unfortunately, very promptly gets checkmated. However, okay. he was But what? So I for sure made myself a beginner. That guy was not a beginner. Bro, it's bad for business when you a new player gets like uh, gets 800. He was winning. I mean, you got to give the guy some credit. Like this is how you know you have hope in chess because the very first game you play, you don't know anything about the game and you still uh, you still get a winning position. Now, the next game he played, I bro why are we doing my earliest games? <laughs> was really funny because you know he 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 played some pawn moves again. You, I'm not I'm not judging his chess play here. I'm just judging. Let the me see your first game. Got him. Uh, the players pushed a bunch of pawns. Uh, Tyler one took on a four and blundered the bishop. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, takes. Then he played here, here, and here, and here, and here. His opponent resigned. That this was the first ever game that Tyler won. Won. Don't put that. He was completely lost, and either his opponent resigned or abandoned the game. Maybe they were afraid of his muscles. Yeah. You know. Uh, put I, your I damn arms know. down. Uh, but but he won this game for some reason. So these were his first two games on Chess.com. Now, things were going very poorly in the beginning. All right. He was, you know, he was watching my videos and losing a lot of games, kind of like you guys do. I do. I watch some of his uh, beginner videos and. He's all my YouTube shorts is. Actually. Actually helps, unfortunately. But I wish he would make videos without the camera on. Anyway. Um, and, you know, he was trying out different openings, and, and he was just kind of, like, learning learning the, the early strategies and, and trying to not fall into tactical uh, blunders and traps and all these different things. Um, he got up to about 500 rapid... But he was still kind of, and he's got the black pieces in this game. Uh, this, th this game was played July 18th, so about, you know, 10 days into his chess career. And as you can- the Hogwarts! The, the Hogwarts! Let's go, baby! Man, hey, let's go! Yeah, I'm beatable!
unbeatable. Unbeatable, baby. Yeah, look at that. How did he find this game, by the way? But yeah, so what? It's it's a, so what? <laughs> Still very much, uh, you know, rough around the edges. But look how intimidating that is, clown. Like that is intimidating. Imagine you walk into a battle and, and you see see. I've been envisioning chess as like a battlefield. Especially when I play cow, it's like my army's like charging, pulling back their catapults, and BOOM! I, I unleash it. Attack, 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 attack! It, it, it's like a battle in my head, like a war. Well, like this, this is like a, a battle with a strong line, everybody linked. Ah! You know what I mean? It's the Hogwarts. Is still not quite there with, with, the, with the understanding. Um, set up a, a whole little wall here, but his yep. opponent broke through very quickly. Uh, immediately hitting the bishop uh, and the knight into the pawn on e6. Tyler didn't defend it. Wait, why did and I take the bishop? Wait, what? Uh, and the knight into the pawn on e6. Wait, okay, I was just trolling for sure. I, I did this on stream. I was just trolling for sure. Tyler didn't defend it. And then knight takes f8, and then and then it actually goes from bad no, to worse. No, I was worse trolling for sure. I was just like taking this. Uh, yeah, Ty Tyler hangs hangs his queen. Why are we so this? Early stage of his career was just like the early stage of any chess player, and you know he might watch this and want to kill me. But yes, because what are you doing? Who? What kind of sociopath? First of all, you're a fanboy. What kind of sociopath goes back? I've played two. Th you had to go to chess.com and like go to like page seventy five. And like scroll. That had that take you hours, bro, and, and find my first ever chat. I played three thousand games, man. Like, yes. That ten thousand dollar match is still on on the table. I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't. Ah, uh, yes, I'd body you, bro. Straight up. Chess box, Tyler. You know, I'd last. I wonder arm. though, don't muscles that big get tired if you throw punches? Hey, hey, Tyler. Hey, I can't, bro. Hey, true. The, the first smart thing he ever said. I did one round of two minutes, of like three minutes, I couldn't move after. So, actually true. That bo boxing's weight, it's, that's too much cardio. Don't hurt me, I'm just analyzing your chess games. Um, and his opponent did a nice job here cleaning up, and then just took the E-file, and Tyler okay, just got I was waited. trolling this game um, on stream. Let's go know, to He had finished his opening recent. on move eight, and on move 19, he was checkmated, and also down 10 points of material. Chess is hard, okay? This is July 18th. This man, no disrespect whatsoever, is a bona fide scrub on okay, July 18th. That's, that's he does completely not disrespectful. know how to play the game. Tyler, you gotta agree with me, all right? <laughs> Wait, what do you say? He does not know how to play the game. Yes, no shit. Yes, because it's the first game. Yes, Gaham. Let me go to your history and scroll back to your first game where you're probably eight years old because you've been playing for 25 years and haven't hit top 1,000. Bro, imagine playing this game for not, not 10 years, not 5 years, not even 15 years, but like 20 years. 20 years played. 20 years. That's double the time I, I've played League of Legends. I'm just saying. If I went back to your first game. Tyler, you gotta agree with me, alright? But then yes. everything changed. Okay, here we go. Then everything changed. This man, after Pog Champs ended, and he got some wins in Pog Champs, he beat Ginny, he beat Squeaks, those names might not mean anything to you because you're 35 and don't watch Twitch, that's fine. Um, he beat a couple of the streamers, he, he had a good run, uh, and, and, and he good decided too. that he was going to play serious chess. Yeah. He was going to play chess seriously. A and this continued for a while. Um, this continued for a while. He, uh, he, he was actually pitted in a game against his own brother. Why would you... This happened at the PogChamps Live Final. They weren't there, but they played... Yes, I'm not... This was a brother matchup. We have uh, E-Rob uh, playing against... Which, by the way, let's get this twisted. After this, I was playing on PC. Did you tell him that? I don't play on PC. I play on mobile, first of all. Mobile. And so, whatever. And I, my, the last game, my mouse slipped. And then afterwards, I played him after and beat him. Against Tyler One, these guys are uh, are are you know you know that sibling rivalry, and in this game Tyler was a different beast. All right, he came in and at this point he started playing what's called the cow opening. Yeah. Which is a terrible opening. Fuck you. But not at the one thousand level. Fuck you. It's not bad. Well, I mean, at the one thousand level, you you could literally you could basically play anything and be fine. Okay, it's not true, bro. People make one thousand Elo players. 
Uh, even though it was like 500. But by the way, the 500 ELO players are better than the 1,000. People make 1,000 ELO players seem like just degenerates. No, they're not. Bro, people are like, oh, they're just like... People make it seem like 1,000 ELO don't know how their pieces work. That's not true, man. I'm so sick and tired of people saying that. It's not true. And this opening is kind of good because it protects white. It protects white's king, so you're never getting scholars mated. And Tyler1 has made it work. He likes this opening. Yes, I do. Right? D4. And in this game, he kind of played the cow. He played what you're supposed to do in the cow which, opening. Now, which, looking back at it, I played it bad. My new strategy, the, ta the cow, T1 alternative, T1, T1, um, variety, T1, uh, variation, cow, T1 variation, now, would, would crush. Like, yes, I, look, I, I, I already tell where I trolled. It's bad, bad, bad prep. You know, the, the cow is fine. You can play the cow. You can play the potato. They're all terrible openings. You can play the egg. They're all terrible openings. It's no disrespect on anybody. Um, and his his brother uh, lost the I just bad. Like, look. Cow, you like, I just bad. Here. Like, me It's just bad. I would um, kill her. His, his brother like, in this game. Uh, lost the bishop. His brother went here, and Tyler one took it. And then took it. And then came back. And, and, and I mean, like, this was already a major evolution in his game. Yes. Cooked. Like he he was getting completely good positions from the opening, and he was not making one move mistakes. This was already an, 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 like he he was evolving as a player, which is amazing. This game was played uh, August eighteenth, uh, one month after the uh, after this. Already thirty days. This this man <laughs> plays some opening. I was like, trolling on stream. A game that looked relatively reasonable. okay. Stop! I, like I was legitimately doing this because I thought it was like a play. I was on stream in queue. I had like five minutes to play. I was like, I was going to resign anyway. So I played that. I was not like sitting at home, like trying, like plotting and thinking, okay, what's the best game? Well, um, maybe we should invite him to the chess kid festival. Um, so like everything was good. And, and I mean, he, he was doing a nice job and he was trading. Like he, he was simplifying the position down. Look at this trading off his opponent's pieces, castling, his opponent was taking space. He was counter taking space. And then he was rerouting his knight from a passive position to the other side of the board like this. I mean, look at this stuff. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm cooking. It's 20 moves have gone by and white has not blundered any pieces. Yeah. For a 500, that is very impressive. Now he starts attacking the queen side. In a closed position, you can either maneuver your pieces or your pawns. And Tyler Wine is making pawn trades to make progress in the position. Look at this. Yeah, true. I am. Trading I, down. I knew what I was and doing. Now he's got the pawns going here. Yeah. This is amazing stuff. Yeah. Plays queen b1, g3 to kick the queen out, and then just keeps advancing into his opponent's territory. I, this is super, super well-controlled game of chess. Yeah. King g2 to defend the knight. Excellent stuff. Rook to c1. Look at this. Knight to g5 hits the queen, and now he trades pieces. He's just trading pieces down. and uh, Look at this. This is amazing. I would cook, Eric. Just now. amazing stuff. Thank you. Pawn to h4. Uh, unfortunately, here okay. a slight disaster happens because uh, he forgets that the queen sees the rook, and he goes here. It that's fine. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But his opponent misses it, and then forgets that the queen now guards the rook, pre-moving this, I guess. Oh my god! And now Tyler one is winning. Yeah. Tyler scrub. one has played forty moves of chess in this game and has not made a mistake. I mean, this is incredible. He could take the rook. He's just going to promote. He could give it a couple of checks. He gives a check. He misses that he can take the rook, but, you know, is, uh, now this. I mean, this man has not made a single mistake this game. Okay, that's not true. He hasn't. He, he hasn't made a single mistake. 561 playing like this? Now it's very simple. You have to glue okay. the king to one of these ranks. Yes, now I see that. Promote the pawn and give a mate. And that's exactly what he does. Look at this. Look at this. This is incredible. Check. Check. Not the checks that I would give, but it's mate and one now. It's mate and one on g7 or h8. Okay, he misses it. Now it's mate and one on g7 with both God. queens on c5 on d6. And he goes here and draws the game. Oh, but okay. Yes, dumb newbie. Yes, but like, look at the board. Okay. When chess was invented, there, dude, look at that. It's like, oh, by the way, here, uh, at this game state, draw. No! Fuck that! Dude, I'm up 20 pieces! 
It's not a fucking draw, bro. I don't care. Update the rules, man. Like, we're not equal. I was a superior player. Go! He can't move the great, so we lost! Whatever, though. I, that will never happen again. So, this man played 52 good moves. He played one bad move, and he threw the entire game. And that's life. I gotta tell you, you know, you cannot get frustrated. A lot of people get frustrated. This man was up 25 points of material and just had a brain fart. And that happens, you know? You, you oh my trust. god! You just, when you're winning, you, you just have to make sure that you are giving checks. Okay? You are giving checks. Otherwise, something like this might happen and um, it's devastating. But he wasn't devastated. And he grinded. No, I was And I will remind you that... From that point, from August the 18th, we could scroll all the way back. I mean, it, it's not even fully possible to see his game archive because look at how many games he plays every day. I mean, I can click True, bro. like page seven and it will be like still September 10th. I, mean, I can page seven. You can't even go back that far. He so how'd you find these games? Non stop. Yeah, I'm this about is it. Totally crazy. I'm about it. I've never seen something like this. So you don't, people don't doubt and me. He broke a thousand, and I'm gonna show you his his last couple. Okay, of games. Like, now you know, we're talking. Here we go. Now let's watch some actual games, real serious games. Now, none of that pushing pawns, one rank stuff. This man is playing some real chess, and his games are scrappy. And he is playing the cow in every game. He is playing pawn pawn. Listen, I don't know who said it. It might have been even this this kid on a uh, YouTube short. What was it? A bad plan being executed is better than no plan, or whatever, something like that. Plus, it's cow T1 variation, or something. A bad plan is better than no plan, or something, he said. So, let me do my plan, my bad plan. Night, night, night out, and then bishop. And nobody knows how to stop this. Because it's new. The position is, of course, slightly worse for black. Black is a little passive, but who cares? It's not new. It's Sometimes not familiar. Sometimes Tyler goes here and makes trades. Sometimes Which, he goes here. By the way, I've played like 5,000 games. I've never played against Cal. I am literally the only one I've ever, pl I've ever seen play this, by the way. But the thing is, sometimes I play it, and like probably one every 400 games, people are like, is that Cal? Is that cow? I'm like, I don't, well, I, I don't respond because ego, obviously. But so some people know what it is. This man has a system. He plays it with white. He plays it with black. Ah. And what can I say? Pawn takes. Pawn takes. Knight d5. Maybe that challenge to Hiraku or whatever he called Hikaru and Magnus Carlston. Who are they? And me is, is serious. Who are you? All right. He gets a position that looks like this from the opening, and now let's see him play chess. How does a how does a guy that learned chess basically two months ago play against 1000s? Okay, pawn to c6, pawn to b5. Not exactly, uh, you know, the computer's preference, but he's opening the position, and there's going to be an attack brewing over here. Queenie Tell me what I should have done! Are you going to give me advice or not? What kind of channel is this? He defends the pawn. His opponent plays bishop d3, immediately hits the queen, immediately taking advantage of the situation. Rook to d8 puts pressure on the bishop, and this move is very tricky. The idea of this move is to get Tyler to take so that he gets mated. But who is enabling the checkmate? The bishop. Black has one check in this position. You always have to look for the more forcing move. Look at this. Bishop to h4 attacks the queen, and you can't take. A lot of people here would play pawn to f6. Tyler 1 realizes what's worth more than a queen? A king. Check. That is genius for the 900 level. Now did I see that? takes and now yeah, he did. takes. Guys. This Actually, is I did. I don't know. I was playing. It was so crazy. Like yesterday, even when I was playing, I was seeing some crazy things. Like actually, and I was like making some crazy moves. Like at the first, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't know. It just clicked. Then like later on, after like 15 hours, it, it was gone, obviously. But at the beginning, I was like, wait, I'm like seeing this shit. All the like videos I watched was like, help me. I was like, what's going on? So I can actually see shit like this. Ah, but it, it only lasted about five hours, six hours. What's worth more than a queen? A king. Check. That is genius for the 900 level. Now Rook takes and now he takes. 
Guys, this is some gangster stuff. I mean, I'm telling you, this is a guy... Gangsta. This is a guy who has unleashed 3,500 puzzles worth of tactics. True! That True. is how you get better at chess? Yes! No, I'm not saying you need to do this within two months. Some of you, you know, are not able to dedicate that much time or attention to something like this, but takes. Now nope. Tyler takes the rook, and he takes the knight. And now he takes the pawn with check, simplifying into a winning endgame. That was clean. This is nuts. That was clean. Okay? That, was actually that is clean. crazy. Thank you. That was actually clean Now game. White plays the best move, which is rook to d1 to try to get in over here. Now, some this is still a pretty tough position. He plays h5, gets his king some breathing room, defends his bishop, loses a pawn, but Fuck the now pawn. he has to get out. Okay, he's slowly finding his way out of the position. He starts bringing his king. All right, there he is, bringing the king. Nice, brought the king. Pawn to c5. He's going to have to start bringing some other pieces out. How? I don't understand people say that. People keep saying that, bro. Like, how is that possible without feeling pressure and everything? People always say, move your pieces. Like, you need to move your king, move your pawns. When do you find the time to move it? Figure out how to do this. King d5, rook e4, okay. Bishop b5. Now white's rook is kind of stuck. Check, but now white's rook is kind of stuck. White tries to break out like this. And here, Tyler did essentially what's Hold on, bro. I'm kind busy. of like the, um, any of you watch Naruto? Don't watch cartoons, sorry. Naruto versus, uh, you know, the, the, when Rock Lee drops his uh, belt. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler 1 loses his bishop. Rook yeah, d6 check. I don't care. Good fight by the players. Oh, White doing this. a nice job pestering Black, not letting Black uh, break Doesn't out of matter. the position. But by putting your rook over here... Okay, let me say this. Sometimes, the way I feel like is... When you have more pieces at the end... Like, I fucked the game up yesterday because I was I had too many pieces at the end. And I was, like, trying to protect them all. And I was like, what am I doing? I could just, like, play for their pieces instead of protecting my pieces. So just fuck it. Just take the piece. Makes it easier. It's too, sometimes it's too confusing to do, like, play with all the pieces. Tyler decides, you know what? Run it down mid. Ooh. Tyler 1 is a League of Legends player. Big brother. Run it down mid. Big fucking Run brother. Run it down mid. The king says, I'm going to go do the dirty work myself. True. Sometimes the mob boss has to take out the garbage. Exactly. That's just how it works. The henchmen aren't doing a good job. Rook a4, king f3. Rook c4, king g2. His opponent panics. Plays f5. He takes. Rook e3. Rook e4, check. Trade, trade, trade. Rook takes h4. That's good. Rook e4, check would have led to an endgame that looks like this. And here, actually, it's white who is winning because of the two pawns. But that's life. It's the last, it's the person who makes the last mistake. Pawn to f4. Instead of being greedy and taking this pawn. No need. It's cut off. One runs it down. Yes, sir! Queen, his opponent resigns. And this is how Tyler 1 broke a thousand. Ah! The most impressive moment in this game for me ah! so far was the ability to spot knight takes d3 check. That is a sign of a player that has a future in the game of chess. That is, the, I mean, like, chess is all pattern recognition. True. And to be like, my queen is hanging, but instead of defending it, do I have any checks? Yeah, with the knight. I said before, this is the only check. It's because my brain just threw away this move because it's obviously a bad move. Knight takes d3, knight takes h4, removing the attack on the checkmate. I saw it. Incredible. I solved it, bro. Just awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, what to say? I mean, I guess oh, there's more. I mean, you get some actual advice? More. You thought he would just stop at 1,000. There's more. Uh, his games have been so crazy. His games are like wars. I mean, I'm telling you. Yeah, I just said that. Remember what I just said? Remember what I just said at the beginning? How it's like a battle? A war? I just said that. They are. Makes it fun, bro. B4 check. People really struggle to deal with- I didn't pre-watch. I swear to God. I've said it even before that, though. I said it even before today. Before he even released his video. Swear to God. Swear to God. Swear to God. I said it on stream, actually. A while ago. I think maybe before the thing. Swear to God. With this open Bishop B4 check. People really struggle to deal with this opening for white because- there is nothing you can really do principles-wise. Like, when white plays the cow and gets a position that looks like this, white is not really worse. I mean, white has technically wasted a little bit of time, but, like, this is not going to get played at the candidates or something, but, you know. 
Set. Knight t2. Okay, he loses the pawn on c3, but he just plays rook b1 and takes the file. A pawn at this level is not really a pawn. And now his opponent gives up the bishop and the bishop for the rook, which is a bad deal. Giving up two pieces for a rook is almost never good. And yeah, now Tyler that. 1 has both bishops for Plus the rook. Plus that pawn's so under attack. He just has more pieces than his opponent, who very promptly allows queen takes b7. Now, this game has an apocalyptic vibe to it. Okay? I want you to just watch, because this is very funny. What you're about to watch is super, super funny. Um, Tyler 1 in this position, of course, can castle, but he very correctly spots that his opponent gave up. I don't like castling, because sometimes when I castle, and I analyze it after, the fucking David's like, BLUNDER! So I'm like, okay, not even gonna bother. Plus, I always get checkmated when I castle, so. Up the B7 pawn. Boom. Just a free pawn. Now black plays knight to d4. And, you know, you, with, with white here, you should probably get the queen out. But Tyler 1 takes the knight. Fuck a queen. And now very simple, castles. Very simple. He hasn't castled yet. His queen is still bothering. And now white is going to try to mobilize the knights. Black gets the c-pawn out of the way. Tyler 1 immediately attacks the queen. Queen to b4. Here it would be a very bad decision for white to trade queens because it would allow black to have two connected pass pawns marching down the board. That is basically impossible to stop. Um, so queen c7. And at this point, black realizes, wait a minute, I have pawns. a5. Now, Tyler 1 here could be a, a scared little boy and start to, you know, go back and play defense. <laughs> this man... When I tell you that this game has an apocalyptic vibe, just Happens. watch. I can't remember. Black I fight a lot. Marches down the board like it's, you know, uh, Will Smith and I Am Legend. There is nobody else around on that side of the board, so he just goes for a queen. Queen e5, pawn to a4. At this point, Tyler 1 realizes, wait a minute. I'm going to lose this game unless I act now. Like, this pawn is just going to go. So, queen f5. Knight to g5. Tyler 1 is going for a mate while this Fuck it, bro! is marching. I'm if about it! Fuck it! He's going to play knight h5. If a1 queen, he takes and it's mate on the next move. This is nuts. Ah! This is completely nuts. Knight g5 in this context is genius. Black probably has to get... Black does the wrong thing. Black goes here. Black loses the knight. Not only does black lose the knight, now the promotion square is also covered. This is really, really, really bad news for- Because I do it too. Bro, it's so fucking scary when you're being attacked. Like, even if you think he's, like, you're good, and you got a huge winning position, if the enemy just, like, runs their queen right by, right by my king, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh wait, stall. So, but, so if, so if somebody starts doing it to me, I'm just like, fuck it, I'll just do it right back to you. And then we're all just like fucking doing random shit. For black. But black sticks to the plan. And now Tyler 1 is winning with knight f5. Has to be taken. And this is unstoppable mate. That's a little bit difficult to see. Instead Tyler 1 goes here. And now black super super clutch. Blocks the queen by playing queen to d4. This is really bad. Because if Tyler 1 trades the queens here. He's not going to stop the pawn. Rook a1, rook b8, rook b1, and Tyler 1 is going to lose. So, instead, what Tyler I do? 1 plays the top computer move. Did I? Really? Look at that! What is it? e5. To block Allowing him! Allowing the queen. I, th th this is nuts. He's not even losing. He, there are two queens on the board. If Tyler 1 takes, then after rook a1, he's going to lose because he cannot stop this. But this man does not panic and realizes his king is actually safe. The queen is knocking on the door, but Tyler 1 is still playing for a win and he takes the rook. Black is slowly I remember this game losing now. material. Black is unable to take with the rook because the rook needs to guard the pawn because check and mate. So black can go queen e5 or queen a8. Black plays queen a8 and now is losing again despite being up an entire second queen. Yes! Because knight f5 takes queen h6. The same tactic, but that's very tough to see. So instead of that, Tyler 1, sensing that he's hitting a brick wall, decides h4, which is not the most accurate move, but <laughs> I, don't I, know I love that. the idea. Now, the queen takes the pawn. 
and Tyler realizes that now the queen no longer pins the pawn to the queen, so he plays e6. Tyler 1 Hello? is knocking on the door, and may I remind you that Tyler 1 looks like this. You better not get him mad. That smile is deceiving. True, This True, man actually. plays pawn to e6. Pawn takes f7 is a massive threat. Black has to take now and make a draw. The computer is now recommending that the player shuffle the moves, but instead of that, the opponent plays pawn to h6, pawn takes f7, and Tyler 1 wins a game with checkmate against two queens. <sighs> this is so crazy. This H is so crazy. I this man's am. games are unbelievable, and he's so clutch. Counter attacking while allowing a pawn to promote. I've n th this is, I mean, the two months of chess, y'all. This man started playing chess seriously like 40 days ago. True. 3,500 puzzles, 1,200 games in 30 days. I've never seen something like this. I will say. I've never seen something like this. I, never I will say, though, puzzles are. It's only game. I think puzzles are fine. Why did you have to be mad? This analysis is fucking hyped, WTF. True, bro. You need to get, like, anim. Dude, you can, like, animate this game so well if you have an imagination. Um, I think puzzles are, uh. They're good and bad. Like, it teaches you some very unique things that you're very rarely going to use. But sometimes it's like, okay, I swear to God, no human's going to play that at my ELO. Like, okay, yes. The, the other the other team moves like that, but they're never going to do that at a thousand. So I don't know. Wait, never mind. I have people talk about speed runs and all this stuff. This is beyond that. This is an otherworldly level of play. And I think uh, I, I found one more very fun game for you um, that he played. He had the, he had a game with the black pieces. I don't know why I moved like okay. I about to say. Some, sometimes you know, sometimes he blunders in the opening. Sometimes he tries to implement the game plan, and uh, you know, look at look at this. For example, h4. He realizes, wait a minute, that's free. He's right. Yes, but, but then it's it opens very dangerous up that, to take that the pawn. thingy on my as you can king. see from the evaluation, because now you've opened up this. He's got to yeah, be very yeah, careful yeah. taking that pawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen h5 now is winning for white. Yeah, I know. Battery and attack on h7. Yes, I know. But Tyler one is a dog. Bishop to f6. Tyler you call me, you is piece completely of shit? lost. What the fuck? In this game. But this man does not go down without a fight. Rook to g1. He takes... No, he, he meant I'm a dog. Like a D-A-W-G. Like a dog. Not a dog. Like, he, <laughs> Tyler was a fucking dog. Like, not like that. He's a dog. Like, that's what he meant. He needs to say it a little bit better, though. That was almost bad takes and plays queen f6 it is plus eight all his opponent has to do is open the door open the door for the rooks and the bishops and it's over takes bishop h7 king here queen h5 like it's he's he's it's just here here you yeah, lose fucked it up, bro queen i already h5. realized it queen h5. yeah i get it all over his opponent plays one inaccuracy tyler takes and immediately launches his own counterattack. See what I mean? Just fuck it, because that fuck that it. That is not checkmate. Knight a4 and queen b2. I actually seen that, by the way. I actually seen it. So sometimes people won't see that. They'll do it, and you get, you're up a rook. I actually see that. I, that that's actually planned. Is checkmate. What does his opponent do? Takes on g7 anyway. But he didn't see it. Spends three seconds out of his eight minutes and 37 seconds. It's only Plays this. Fuck. It's not made at all. And here, Tyler 1 has to either play king f6 and run, or king h8, because this move loses. Rook g1 check, bishop g7 check, bishop anywhere on this diagonal. Check, here, bishop g7, and any of these moves is a mate. Not that one. One, two, three, Oh, I know what I do! Six. But instead of that, his opponent takes the rook. And now it's time for Tyler 1 to fight back. Oh, he trolled F6, there. I remember that. I was like, oh, I lost. Grabs the bishop. He's got no business at all winning this position, but he goes here. And this move threatens the pawn, and people are reactive by nature. So his opponent goes, oh, my pawn is hanging. I got to defend it. But it opens up the rock! Defense. And his conversion here, clinical. E5, chop, chop, chop. 
stops the pawns, stops that pawn as well, takes that pawn, and now he just goes down. He doesn't even care about losing the bishop because he has so many extra pawns. Yes, Looking no, four, be, oh, because, the okay, loses the dude, because I swear to God, more pieces is harder. I don't care. Give me, I would prefer an end game with bit rook versus rook versus, I have a rook and bishop. Fuck it. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. King F pawns. Rook E4. Bishop G. Okay, loses the... We're going to pretend that didn't happen. King F6. King E5. Doesn't take the rook because he doesn't need it. D5. Bishop F5 check. And his opponent resigns because he's going to lose the rook. I'm not sure... T I, I, Tyler won't say I that. did. I, I seen that. Come his on now. His games are so wild. Come on. Like, you have got to bury this man into I, the ground to okay, beat him. Okay, you're treating me like a 200. He's winning these absurd back and forth games... But they're, they make sense. Like, they make sense. He's defending well. He's fighting back from unpleasant positions. And he's taking his chances. It's not presented. one step move. This is one of the most insane stories I've, I've, I'm telling you that I have ever seen. This man in 40 days has played over 1,200 games Nervous? of chess. Look at it. He's like, I don't want to say this because my career is probably over. His eyes are fucking watery, by the way. He's in tears. I've broken Gotham games. He's in tears right now. His future is in question. What am I going to do after this poor guy? That is, uh, that's unheard of. That is unheard of. I, kudos to him. Only, it's only Thank you. Why does have to get now get out of here. Oh. Wait, that's it? Hey, that was, well. When I take your job, I won't be rude to my audience like that. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that. How dare he? Just end the video like that. Plus, bro, maybe there could have been a little bit of constructive criticism in there to improve on. Clown. God damn it. Anyway, what does this guy say? It's not bad.